Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 7 of Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing. And this is actually the second time I'm going to have to record this because, well, I just actually recorded it a little bit ago, but I knew, <laughs> don't meow at me, okay, but I don't know why the, the commentary on that one came out kind of metallic sounding and it was really kind of gross. So, I'm hoping there's nothing wrong with my microphone or anything, it might be, I don't know, I never really checked. Uh, but I really hope it's not, because that would really suck if the commentary turns out that way again, then I'm probably just going to have to use it, and I won't really care. But yeah, it also sucks too, because like I on the original recording this, I did so good, both in gameplay and kind of in commentary, though I never really think my commentary is all that great anyways. But it was actually, I don't know, it was really fun, and I just don't want to have to do it all over again. But you know what? Sometimes you just gotta do it. Just gotta bite the bullet, you know? Anyway, so this is Whale Bay. Oh yeah, I, didn't, I haven't even been talking about the game this whole time. This is Whale Bay. We're in Sherbet Island. That's a mast on sailboat. These are bananas. That's a palm tree. That's a zipper up there that looks really cool in the water. Yeah, I like the water zippers because they're like... I don't know, just the arc shape of them. Like how they're like arcing. It's kind of just like a combination of the... um air zippers and the ground zippers. How the bottom of it's really flat, but the rest of it is a circle. I think I just hit my own oil slick. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, there was something I wanted to mention about this level 2 that I did mention in the original recording. Don't remember what it was. Yeah. But when I hit that oil, I don't know, these oil slicks on the water, they just look so ridiculous. Because, like, how's that even, like, that's not possible. Just, like, <laughs> Shouldn't the oil just, like, split around? Oh, yeah, this is what I want to talk about, the whale here. It's just so much fun how you just hit, like, go up on the whale like a ramp, and then you just hit the side of the boat and then bounce on top of it. It's just like that series of events is just so awesome. That's, like, wow. That's, like, one of the most iconic things about this game to me, is that one series of events with the whale, you hit the ship and then get on it. Don't know why, it's just really cool. It's really, really cool. Look at that whale in the background. He's just so happy. Oh my god. His eye is so big. Well, whatever. I was about to say his eye is so big. Alright, let's go to Crescent Island. Oh, Crescent Moon Island. We're gonna find Cresselia here. Oh, I was in the middle of a thought. And I don't remember what it was now. Damn, I have a feeling it might have been good too. Whatever. Alright, the key is in this, uh, level here. The key for the world is in this course. It's actually right off to the side here. So you have to drive through the water with your car. Man, look how just stupid this looks. <sighs> Farting out bubbles, too. That's just dumb. That's even dumber. Alright, get the key. Get the key now. Nope. He hello? Dude, what are you doing? I can't do a sharp turn in water because I'm a car. Hello? I'm a fish out of water here. Well, I guess that's kind of ironic. Dude, okay, seriously? Well, this tie to cooperate with. Thank you. Okay. Jeez. It's kind of ironic to say a fish out of water there. Maybe I should say, like, a, <laughs> an elephant in water? I don't know. There you go. That's the key. Oh, Minu, don't come up. My cat's coming up now. She wants to meow on the microphone again, I'm sure. I'm so sure that's what she wants. She has to get in, like, every video now. You know, she, in the last recording that I just did of this, she didn't meow at all. She was, like, sleeping the whole time. And now she's gonna be a pain in the ass, I'm sure. Alright, here. Yeah. Oh, I like how they give you the option there to, like, go through the tunnel or to, like, cut around the outside. I don't know, it's just always so fun when you can cut around the outside of a tunnel. Wow, I feel like I shouldn't be here. I'm being so bad. Hee <laughs> hee. Right, the pirate ship. Argon Matrix. Ah. Uh. That was really dumb. I don't know, every time you see like ARG or like think of pirates and they go ARG, now all I can think of is ARG God Matrix. It's so stupid, but whatever. Yeah, see like you can go through this tunnel if you want, and it's actually kind of beneficial because all the good balloons are in here. Or on the outside there's a rainbow balloon which isn't useful much at all. Alright. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? My voice just, I had like an air bubble inside my throat, and then I tried to talk. I thought the air bubble like caught some of the voice or something. I don't know what happened there. Man. 
That's gotta be the worst pirate ship to sail, and it has like a hole in the bottom of it that you drive out of. I don't know, maybe it's just for decoration, like that one in West Edmonton Mall. Alrighty. I just get rid of that magnet. No purpose. Yeah, I like off to like the left here, this like little area with the waterfalls and the cliff and everything. That's just so cool. Like it reminds me of like some area that you would find in Noki Bay or something. Like you could just like go over there and just be like, there would just be some random shit in the wall. Probably a blue coin in there. I don't know. Noki Bay is so weird. Alright, and around this corner here, just hit that little pillar for dramatic effect. Dramatic effect? What am I talking about? There you go. Yeah, I'm actually doing this at about the speed that I was last time, so I guess this world just isn't too hard. Or maybe I'm just used to it now, I don't know. Oh, but this course, this course is so much fun. Especially since I'm really good at it, actually. Like, out of all the courses in the game, I'd say that this is the one that I'm best at. And my sister, like, sucks at this course when she does it. So, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, like... Maybe she just sucks at the game, or I'm really good at this one course in the game. Pick up the bananas. Be sure to do that. Because you don't want to look like an asshole here not picking up bananas in Diddy Kong Racing. Seriously. Because you know any game with Diddy Kong or Donkey Kong, you gotta pick up bananas. That's like the whole point of the game. Well, not this game, but... <laughs> you get what I mean. Yeah. Well, something I've learned in my like years playing it is, is if you go for that blue balloon that I just got, and then try to turn the corner like really sharply like I did, you will hit the wall, and the wall will actually push you forward. It's just like, hey, what's up? I'm gonna give you a nice little shove, and then it's just like you just like get launched halfway down the tunnel. And it's just, it's really useful. It's a really useful tactic. So I'd highly recommend going for that balloon, even though it looks like you're gonna hit the wall, and you do hit the wall, but it doesn't like get. Detriment? Is that the right word to use? I don't know. Plus you have the boost afterwards, so you can just go right down the long straightaway there. Yeah, this level is really all just strategy. I know this sounds kind of weird to use strategy in a racing game, but hey, it's there. You cannot... You, do you dare deny my strategy? Do you have a better one? Post a video response if you do. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that sun in the background. And that little tangerine floating in the water. That's what I always thought they were, was tangerines with faces. But no, they're obviously like buoys or something. Buoys. Uh, yeah, but they, they look like tangerines. I love tangerines. Actually, I've never had a tangerine. I've only had like a tangerine flavored juice box. So I don't know what an actual tangerine tastes like. Because you know, like a juice box, it's not going to taste like the actual fruit. It rarely ever does. Like, orange juice boxes, those are nasty, in my opinion. They don't taste like orange at all. And I love oranges. Especially mandarin oranges. How did I get on this topic? I have no idea. Half the time when you're LPing, or if you're LPing with the style that I LP with, you just start talking about random shit all the time, and you have no idea how you got there by the time you get to the end of it. It's just like, damn, man. Love how they have that big arrow pointed on the wall. Hey, it's like, hey, go into the smog. Yeah. This place here is re really nasty with the green slime and the smog. It's just like, ew. 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 Final lap. What's that tunnel up there on the side to the right? I don't know. Maybe if you're going through this in a plane. And over there, there's a pirate ship to the right. Is that the same pirate ship in from Crescent Island? It might be, actually. Never really thought of that. I never thought that, like, maybe, like, these courses are all somehow connected. That... That's kind of a mind trip now. Now I'm gonna have to be looking out for that. I'm gonna be so paranoid about that now. Oh, yeah, I got the... I always love it when that happens. You get the zipper in, like, the ending scene there. Sometimes that happens. Most of the time it doesn't. Like, 90% of the time it doesn't. It sounded like I said 98%, but I said 90%. Oh, it's just that air bubble in the throat again, you know. Alright, uh, before I go for the boss, I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and do the mini game Because this mini game is rather fun. That's the exit. Don't go there. <laughs> the exit mini game. Oh my god, it's so much fun. Darkwater Beach. Darkwater Beach. 
Uh, in the last recording, I couldn't remember the name of this place for the life of me, and I don't know why. They flash it on the screen in giant letters, and TT says it with that crazy accent of his. It's like, Darkwater Beach! I love the way he says that. There's certain words that he says that just, like, I don't know. Like, there's, like, one, like, course later on that has the word caverns in it, and he goes, like, caverns? It's just so crazy. <laughs> I love his voice. Alrighty. I need to go hit someone here. <laughs> Hold still and let me shoot you. Don't get that. Okay. Alright, there we go. Oh my god, we hit each other at the same time. Our fists collided. Oh, I always love that analogy. Alright, hey, hey, we did it again. We did it again. Oh, what else is that like? I don't know. It's like a car crash. Yeah, let's pick this up just for the hell of it. Look at me! I'm electric on top of water. Shouldn't I be dead or something? I don't know. Alright, get the balloons now. Why did I just say get the balloons? I'm not having problems getting the balloons. Yeah. One benefit to having to re-record this is that I'm, like, on this minigame, I did so bad. Like, I literally came in fourth on my first try. Yeah, I, f I came in freaking fourth. Who does that? Who comes in fourth on a minigame? Like, I can understand maybe, like, second, sometimes third, but fourth, you just have to suck ass. And what's worse is that everyone else still had eight balloons left, or eight bananas. So it was just like, oh my god, what a slap in the face. What a slap in my turtle face, my oblong face. Jeez. Look at that, three of the four players in this mini game have oblong faces. Like their faces reach all the way to the sides of the box that they're in. See like Tip Top, Conquer, and T Crunch? Diddy's the only one that has a slightly like slimmer face. It's just so dumb, it like reaches all the way to the side, but it like just barely touches the side. Conquer looks so happy in that picture. Looks like he just found himself some spawn dooley. Who am I going after here? I'm just driving around. I'm having a pleasure cruise or something. Well, there's Diddy. Bye, Diddy. Just disappear into oblivion, why don't you? Alright, Conquer's gonna be over there. Right there. Sweet. Alright, Conquer, we're even now. We're even Stevens. Or even playing field. Why is that tree there? This one tree is just here just to get in your way. And I just drove through it. I wanted to make the boing sound. The boing! You know, like this. Uh, alrighty, one more hit and it'll do you in, man. Uh, dude, oh my god, I missed with a homing missile. How's that even freaking possible? That's just horrible. Right, dude, I did it again. I did it again. She was like right next to me too. Well, he, I mean, <laughs> why do I call it a she? I don't know. Conquer reminds me of a girl more in this game. All right, come on. It's like we're jousting or something. Oh my god. <laughs> That log just thrust me halfway across the beach. There we go. Oh, thank you for finally dying, Conker. Alright, oh, here we go with a crazy angle again. Yeah. I see this angle like three different times a game only. Or more like five, actually. <laughs> I got the balloon in the cutscene. Alright. Yeah, let's shoot the genie. Let's shoot the genie. Oh my god. Boom. Amazing! You now have three pieces of the amulet. Just one more piece to go. Good luck! Yerp. Alright, so now, uh, do we have time? I don't think we have time for the boss. Time. Did you hear the way I said that? I was like, time. We don't have time for the boss. Uh, Bueller. Bueller. Dude, don't hit TT. I've hit TT accidentally way too many times in this LP. It was only been like two, but that's still too many. Alright, so just I need to end this. Okay, so thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.